allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. John, if you want to come to the podium there. Father, we come before you tonight in the name of Jesus, and we ask that you give the council members knowledge and wisdom, Father, to make the best decisions that are pleasing to you and are good for the town. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Right. Serena, roll call, please. William Ellis. Here. Trevor Sager. Scott Oldham. Here. Pamela Samples. Here. Dan Swafford. Here. Darla Brown. All right. <clears throat> Approval of the minutes for the regular meeting, December 12th, 2012. So moved. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Action to pay accounts payable, vouchers, and payroll. So moved. Second. Serena. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. 2023 insurance renewal for property, liability, and fleet. Who has this? I'll take it. Okay, we received two quotes Friday, I believe. Uh, actually, they uh, brought uh, the two reps from different um, insurance companies came in today and met with uh, Serena, Noel, Kevin, and myself and presented their quotes. Uh, we took them under review and I'd like permission to um, go ahead and uh, choose who we pick after I talk to Sandy. Um, so we, we want to go through, it's, you know, it's a pretty thick document. We want to go through it and make sure everything's apples to apples. And uh, we, but we do have the two quotes. And so we, I'd like permission to move forward um, once we talk to Sandy and, and go through the documents. We need insurance before the 15th of January, so um, if you have any questions, go, I'd be glad to answer. Any council discussion? No. Public? Seeing none, I'll make a motion to give Mike the authority to make that decision based on the quotes after review with Sandy. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, resolution 26 dash. Okay, is the resolution 2202 or 2022? 2022. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay, resolution 26 dash 2022, surplus police department. Um, the information I have is the police department is requesting to surplus a 2003 Dodge Durango. That's no longer needed by the town. Um, the Durango will be sold, sold on eBay, gov deals, or by sealed bid. All right. Any council comments or discussion? Public? See none, council action. I move to approve resolution 2022 for surplus police department. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. The resolution 27 2022, 2022 encumbrances. Are you against Serena? Yes. Um, this is our, our yearly purchases that are made in December from the 2022 m money that needs carried over and paid for next year. Um, the general fund is two hundred four thousand six seventy five sixty five. Um, MVH is three fifty seven sixty one. Local roads and streets sixty two thousand three seventy ninety one. CCD is fourteen thousand five hundred ninety three, and MVH restricted is twenty three thousand nine hundred one eighty five. That's a good amount of encumbrances. <laughs> Any council discussion? No, it's kind of what we expected this year because yep. of delivery supply chain issues. Yep. Uh, public, seeing none, council action. I move to approve resolution 
2022 encumbrances. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. A resolution 28 2022. Uh, Mike informed me he would rather that tabled. Yes, till the next meeting on January 9th. Okay, so I will move to table resolution 28 2022 uh, to accept a gift from Ellisville Senior Housing Incorporated to the next meeting. Is there a second? Second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, no ordinances on first reading. Ordinances on second reading, 2022-18 to create a fund for local income tax de economic development. The information I have is uh, this is to create the fund to receive the monies from the increased local income tax for the econo economic development. Okay. Any council discussion? No. Public? All right, council action. Move we approve ordinance 2022-18 to create a fund for local income tax economic development. I'll second. William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, no, I see no old business. Flood report, do you have anything? Quickly, uh, Only Mike? that um, the bid openings and lettings are moved to January. And so we hope to open bids for the um, flood mitigation project on the 23rd now. Okay. Envision elements still update. Dan does not have anything. All right, new business. Agreement from Duke to upgrade streetlights to LED. Yeah, I've been working with Duke Energy. Uh, we're gonna, um, we've got a proposal from them to change uh, our uh, 273 lights, Cobra lights throughout town. Uh, from uh, the current um, technology to LED. Um, I made a mistake when I sent out an uh, email to the board. I said we'd save $11,000 by noon so a year. It's actually only $5,208, but it's still a savings. Uh, everything's done uh, by um, Duke Energy, and they'll be responsible for the maintenance of them. Uh, the uh, the looms will still uh, provide the same kind of lighting. And uh, so I just need approval for the board or approval from the board for William Ellis to sign. There's two contracts. For some reason, uh, they split them up. I, I, I couldn't even figure out why, but Steve said, indeed, there's two contracts, but it covers all 273 lights. Any council discussion? Public council action. Move approval of the agreement between Duke to upgrade the streetlights to LED, giving William Ellis the uh, um, option to sign the contract. Second. William Ellis. Yes. Scott. Yes. Samuel Sample. Yes. Okay. Request to release the cash bond for Trila LLC for Barbary States for completed sidewalks, sidewalks for 14,669. This is me. Okay. Good evening. Um, Barbary Estates phase one had a letter of credit for sidewalks only. It was for five single family homes. It's the first phase of their development. All the sidewalks are in and built to <clears throat> code has requested. So um, we're requesting release of the cash bond that was held by the town. All right. Council discussion. Is that the only thing remaining to be done there? Yes. Okay. Any public? Nope. Seeing none, council action. I'll move to request to release the cash bond uh, for Barbar uh, Barbary Estates for completed sidewalks. Second. Second. Take your pick. <laughs> Scott, okay. <laughs> William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, the MOU between the Town of Ellettsville and the Ellettsville Department of Parks and Rec and Ellettsville Youth League Sports, uh, their attorney has not gotten back to weigh in on that, and our attorney's not here, so I will move to table that. Second. Sorry, hold on one second. 
William Ellis? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Any public comment on things not on the agenda? Seeing none, supervisor comments? I just say thanks to all the crews. Uh, we fought a fire during the uh, heart of the storm. Uh, they plowed snow. The utilities guys uh, fixed the main break, and we had several calls for no water and, um, and burst pipes. And I would remind everyone that has frozen pipes now, they will thaw out, and um, you expect them to leak and uh, probably be uh, broken. Uh, we are available 24-7 to, to do emergency shutoffs. Thank you. Anybody? Kevin? Kevin. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, just to go along with uh, what town manager said, uh, I had to cruise out uh, that Thursday night, and we pretty much got through our first storm without a, a glitch, so we did pretty good there. I just want to add that, I, forgive me for if I don't pronounce your last name right, but Jamie Nebel, is that how you pronounce your last name? She is really great to work with. Uh, the, the Monroe County Emergency Management has been contacted with us through the whole time. They've done a really good job of asking what we need, how things are going, and I just want to put that out that I really appreciated their, their uh, contacting us and staying in contact throughout the whole thing. So, yeah, everything sure. went great. Denise? Serena? Okay. Any council? Yeah, just a way of kind of housekeeping. I'd like to ask the council, I guess, um, to give permission to the town manager to remove items from the agenda that he knows are not going to be presented that evening. That way we don't have people having to come in uh, unnecessarily because they remain on our agenda. But if we allow him, we can remove things from the agenda. We just can't add to them unnecessarily. So I'd like for us to give him the ability to remove items from the agenda so we don't have to go through the whole tabling and motioning right. process when we know it's, it's just cleaner and more right. efficient. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes. Scott yes. Yes. I should ask if you're all right with that, but yeah, pass now. <laughs> Pam, do you have anything to say? I just want to thank everybody, and I do want to ask Kevin: Did anybody take us up on the warming station that we had at the? We had one lady, I believe it was Wednesday night. Do you remember? Tuesday night or was I don't remember which. They called at four o'clock in the morning and wanted to know if we were open, and we told them yes, but they never did show up. But, okay. So we only had one that called. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for another successful year in Ellettsville. Um, it's, it humbles me that, that we be able to serve on this council, and thank you, everybody, and we've got a great team, and we've got great things ahead. So quickly, I'd like to apologize for being late. Couldn't be helped. One of those facets of... Uh, working east of 69. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that said, we are adjourned. <laughs>